Welcome back to the final Golfing World of the Year. Well, we're lucky enough on this program to get some very exclusive access to some of the world's best players. And earlier this year, I made my first trip to Arkansas. Ever been there, Tony? No, I can't say it's ever been on my bucket list. Well, it should be because we met the fabulous John Daly, who welcomed us into his home to give us a glimpse behind the scenes of one of golf's most colourful characters. John Daly! Hello. Hiya, I'm Cara. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, thanks for having us. You betcha. Here we are, you're going to show me around a bit today. Are we going to get to know the real JD? Well, somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> have you had to hide anything before we come and have a look around? No, no, it's no, I'm an open book. It's easy. So I've just taken a little look around, literally just walking in the house, John. It looks like you store quite a lot of stuff here. I think there's going to be a bit of memorabilia, right? A lot of memorabilia, yeah, a lot of guitars. A lot of fun stuff. To me, this house is, it's, it's real homey because I put everything in here and I got all my jerseys and guitars and stuff, but it's, sometimes I feel like it's a storage room, storage house, because when I have my bus, it's getting worked on right now. I park it right out front and I usually just stay in the bus. Do you? I'm so used to it. So I, even when you're here, you sleep in the bus? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> And you still drive that everywhere? If you're travelling around America, you try and drive that to all your events? Mm-hmm. Wow, so you must spend a lot of time in there. Oh, I just love it. I got so used to it. I don't have to ever unpack or pack. Everything's right there. So, John, where are we headed? Up to the music room. Wow, so you're almost as famous for your music as you are for your golf. No, I just have a lot of <laughs> friends that can play music, not me. I just... Oh, my... I dabble in it, kind of, but... How many guitars do you have in this room? This is amazing. Well, it's probably 60, 70. So before we leave today, can we get you on the guitar and giving us a few lines again? We can try. See, it's a promise. It's amazing to see the John Daly you are now to perhaps the John Daly you were a decade or so ago. Is it fair to say that, that at one time, alcohol dominated perhaps more than it should have done? Yeah, I drank a lot. Um, I wasn't a guy that had to have it every day. When I went to Betty Ford, they classified me as a binge drinker. You know, I could go seven, eight days and drink and then not drink for three months. I can only live in this moment, live in this day and not worry about tomorrow. I'll just get to each day and see what it plays out. And what about the lap band you mentioned that, that you had fitted to, to lose weight? Why did you decide to do that and to take the matter into your hands in, in the kind of surgical way? Well, I was up to 324 pounds when I had the surgery. Got down to 178 pounds, but I was just sick. I was too skinny. I'm right at 230 right now. It's probably more than what I want to be. 215, I think, would be a good, good, my good fighting weight where I feel real healthy. But I get under that, I get weak, I get tired, I lose energy. And I, fe I felt like I looked great when I lost the weight, but I didn't feel good, and I was very weak. We all know John Daly for your power hitting. Should we get out there and have a look? Yeah. But yeah. before we do, can we go and get changed and ready for golf? Because I'm with John Daly. I've got to wear the right stuff. Yes, my mouth. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Let's go check out the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Come in here. I tell you what. <laughs> look at this. This is a wardrobe I'm jealous of. John, talk me through this. I've got to start with these sports jackets. Well, you know, I was never a guy. I always hated to wear sport coats and ties and all that. But when Loudmouth came along, it's just easy to throw one of those on because I love them. T-shirt and jeans. And, you know, if you got a pair of socks on in Arkansas, it's considered a three-piece suit anyway. So <laughs> Ideal. Good. Right, you see, I've changed. So should all of you. Let's just pick out a few of these. Which is your favorite? I mean, there's dollar bills. There's, there's poker cards. There's different, you know, there's totally different fabrics. Which has been your favorite one to wear? Well, I think when I travel overseas, I always like to wear my old glory. Or even in the, you know, I'm home, I like to wear the old glory and the American one. This is a cool one, you know. That is cool. Um, this might be one of my favorite ones. I don't know. That's pretty good. But the greatest thing about all this is you could get dressed in the dark and you're going to match. We've got some slacks back here. Oh, wow. That's Doesn't a, stop with the jackets. No, I mean. Oh, my goodness. But I have something special for you. Oh, and I'm gonna put him on to go play golf. He's got the Union Jack. Yeah. I <laughs> love that, John. When we first. 
first met And it was love at first sight Retro's my favorite Suitably serenaded. I hope you have been too. An old rocky top.